Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crizzy here, and in today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the 2017 A24 film, The Disaster Artist. Yeah, because I, I said I was going to watch this movie one day, but, but, since, but since I found this movie on Netflix, I, 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 I decided to stream it on Netflix anyway today, so... So yeah, so the, the the disaster artist is is directed by James Franco and stars James Franco himself, as, as he plays Tommy Winslow, who's bas who is basically like the the director, the filmmaker, and the actor behind behind the the two thousand three bad and bad and good movie The Room, and so the disaster artist basically talks about like the history and life behind Tommy Winslow and how he made the movie The Room. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much the basic plot of The Disaster Artist. So, what do I think of it? I watched this movie on Netflix earlier today. Like, like it was, it was, I, I watched this movie, <clears throat> I watched The Disaster Artist after, after I watched The Room. And so, I gotta say, The Disaster Artist is definitely a, a great movie from 2017. I enjoyed it. And I, I thought it, I thought, and I also thought the disaster artist also 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 had a, a very interesting story as well. It like because the story base basically talks about like it talks about the true story behind Tommy Winslow and and how he how he made the room, and yeah, it also be it also talks about his life before before making the room. And also, I also learned from this movie, like I, I think, because I, and th this, there was also a part in this movie where where Tommy Winslow had had to do so many takes on the on, on the scene where where it's like, oh hi Mark, like you know for the oh, oh hi Mark scene, like like Tommy Winslow had to do so many takes to, for that scene, and yeah. Yeah, so the so the story was interesting and, and 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 it's got good actors too. Like the actors in this movie, the acting performances are very good too. Like the Franco brothers, Dave Franco and James Franco, they both did a great job in this movie. And Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen is in this movie and he did great. And there's also there's also a bunch of other cast members I know. Excuse me. So other cast members include like um from what I remember, let's see. Oh yeah, Alison Brie was in this movie, and she did she did a good job playing Amber in this movie. Amber is the character's name played by Alison Brie in this movie. So Alison Brie was did, did a good job in this film, and um, yeah, because there's there's like a lot of these actors I know. Oh yeah, Brian Cranston was in this movie. He, like he was in one scene, and and I thought it was pretty interesting. Like 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 before the beginning of the closing credits to 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 the Disaster Artist. It shows like like side by side comparisons between the disaster artist version of the room and the real version of the room. And of course, Tommy Winslow himself actually he actually makes an, an, an appearance in the after credits scene and as he plays a character named Henry, who is basically like a party goer. But that was like in the after credits scene, like you know, like the post credits scene. So yeah, the disaster artist def definitely, 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 probably one of the best movies of twenty seventeen I've ever I've ever watched on Netflix. And this movie was also made by Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers internationally and New Line Cinema. And plus, this movie was also made by A twenty four. I think I'm I think I'm starting I think I'm starting to get interested in checking out some A twenty four's movies. And like I said, I have one A twenty four movie on Blu ray, and that is Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler. And I'm also interested in checking out another A24 film, The Lighthouse, with Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe, which is a 2019 film. And A24 has made other movies, and they also they also made an Academy Award no nomination. Like they made an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture of 2020 or 2021, and that's that's gonna be that's gonna be like Minari. Like I, I've heard I've heard really fantastic things about Mon Minari. Yeah, so The Disaster Artist, a, a, a great movie from 2017, one of A24's best movies in my opinion. It's got good acting performances, interesting story. And, and it's also definitely worth watching too, worth watching if it's to most people who have, who have watched The Room. 
like because like it's it yeah you know, it's it's about the making the history and making of the room of of, of the so bad it's good movie from two thousand three the room. <clears throat> So there you have it, guys. So overall, The Disaster Artist is a great 2017 movie from A24. And I'm going to give The Disaster Artist 4 out of 5 stars. Yep. I gave The Room 3 stars out of 5. And now I, I give The Disaster Artist 4 out of 5 stars. It's great. So if you haven't seen The Disaster Artist yet, I definitely recommend it. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my for my movie review on the, on the Disaster Artist. And so that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.